Today, we're going to talk about time-saving tips. If you have your Facebook and your Instagram accounts linked, you your page is going to look something like this. The first thing you want to do is look over on the left-hand side of the screen, and you're going to see Meta Business Suite. What you want to do is go into Planner. This will pop you into the uh, Planner page. And you have the option to create your posts from here. So you would just go up here to where it says create, click the arrow down. You can create a post, you can create a story, you can create reels, or you can bulk upload videos and post videos across pages. We're gonna, we're gonna show you how to create a post today. This is your create a post page. It, on the top here, it says post to, you click on the down arrow, and it will list your Facebook and your Instagram accounts. So if you're posting to both, you would click both. If you have a Facebook group for your community and you want to post to the Facebook group as well, you can click on the Facebook group to post to it as well. And alternately, you can post to one, only one of the platforms uh, as, as you need. So we're going to post to both for the sake of this video. Okay, so click out of that. So because we've included Instagram, you need to upload a photo. So I'm going to upload a photo. Okay, now that you have your photo uploaded, we are going to explore the editing options. So if you toggle over to the pencil icon and click on it, you will have the option to edit your photo within the uh, Meta Business Suite. You can crop, you can add a filter, uh, you can scroll through them, add the filter of your choice, you can add text to your photo, stickers, and uh, most importantly, the alt text. Adding alt text to your photo is adding a description of the photo so that people using screen readers are able to um, get a description of the photo. Pink graphic, pink. Okay, and then you click apply. And now your photo has alt text. Under post detail, you can click toggle this on to customize posts for Instagram and Facebook. And remember for Instagram, you want to and you want to use hashtags. So when you're using hashtags, a good idea is instead of writing out a hashtag, whatever it is, you, uh, for accessibility's sake, you capitalize the first letter of every word in order to help screen readers better read the words. Okay, and again, you can tag an organization, you can tag a community member specifically for Instagram. And on this side, it shows you the, the feed preview for Instagram and it would show you the feed preview for um, Facebook. Scroll down, you're gonna see scheduling options down here. So you wanna go over here and you wanna click schedule. The scheduling options will pop up for you. You can schedule separately for Facebook and Instagram. Click on the date over here to change the date for when you wanna schedule it. And click on the date over here and whatever time you have there. You can also check your active times. And that's just when your followers are most active on those platforms. Okay, Okay. so let's say tomorrow at seven and this one says tomorrow at nine because I'm gonna delete this. We'll save it and you can go down here and schedule. Okay, it takes a minute to load up, but you're back in your calendar view and you can see your posts are scheduled over here.